Hey guys, this is Faye um, from the newly made Edgy Equestrian YouTube page. I'm going to go ahead and do a tag haul video for you guys to get my channel up and running. Um, I'm going to do a intro video, um, introduction video for you guys um, a little later, hopefully, um, when I've got more time to plot out stuff to say. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, let's see, first thing I got was this um, main pulling comb with a handle. I really don't like using the little, you know, just the comb piece. My fingers hurt so bad after about three inches of main. Um, so this is a lot better. I had one of those combination this part and hook pick. I misplaced it somewhere. Which sucks, because it was like my right hand. Um, so I went and got that, because um, Harley's mane is super nasty and really long after this hardcore six-month winter we've had in upstate New York. Um, so today, hopefully, I'm going to pull his mane um, and get that taken care of. I, got, I just got it from Country Max. It was like $2. Um, and then also from Country Max, I went and got... Excuse me. Um, on the receipt, they call it a toothbrush. Um, but it's like, it's got softer bristles than a regular toothbrush, and it's a lot larger. Uh, it's like cheap wooden brush handle thingy. Um, it's just for cleaning um, bits and the hardware on your tack. I like these better than regular um, toothbrushes just because the bristles are softer, and I feel like toothbrush toothbrushes. Um, to scratch everything up. Um, so yeah, I got that to clean the tack with. Um, I went and got this mane and tail comb. It looks a lot like the Oster products. Um, and it's definitely a Oster knockoff. Um, it's a few dollars cheaper. It's made by Equa Essentials, I think. Um, it's covered up with the price tag from Country Max. And it's a little dirty because I've used it once already. Um, but these things soar through knots and tangles in your horse's mane and tail. Um, it's just as good as the Oster one. And like I said, it was a few dollars cheaper. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and do a video on mane and tail care um, in the next few weeks. If I can get someone to come out and record and film for me. Um, just because... These things do sail through knots, which isn't necessarily a good thing. Um, so last summer, I leased in Appaloosa, and so I kind of know every trick there is in the book about um, getting manes and tails to grow to their full potential. So, yeah, we'll see if that happens. Let's see what's next on the list. I went and got, um, I don't know her name, I'm sorry. Um, if it's you, please post in my comments, and I'll be sure to put your name up here um, with a link to your channel. Um, someone mentioned they bought this product for their horse's tail, um, and it was it a tack? It was a tack haul video. It was either a tack haul video or a combination tack haul tack trunk tour video. Um, she got giving out really great ideas, actually. And by the way, your tack trunk is phenomenally organized. Everyone should look up to you. I'm gonna actually, you know, I'm gonna try and do that thing where you put the videos up here and link directly to her video because y'all need to be checking out her tack trunk. It's bomb. Um, seriously. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, Suave Kids apple scented hair detangler. Um, there's only a few bucks and it smells fantastic. Um, it smells like Jolly Ranchers. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and probably put this in another bottle um because i hate these pump action tops i'll probably put it in something more like this um just so it's easier and my fingers don't fall off um but yeah it's for kids it should be safe i mean a lot of professional grooms use pledge on their horses tails before shows so if pledge is fine i'm sure this is fine um, up next, up, 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 um, um, I went, I'm a big fan of, um, buying used products, going to barn sales, tack auctions, stalking eBay and Craigslist, and then the Facebook groups that you can join, um, are people selling tack, and 
I wasn't even looking for anything at the time. Up on my Facebook page, um, it just popped up. Someone had a, a navy dust cover for their English saddle for shelf $10. I needed one anyways. Um, most of them you can probably get for $10 plus shipping. This included shipping. Um, it's navy, which is um, my main color. So I just went ahead and got it. Um, you know, it's in great condition um, for being used. So I'm going to go ahead and use that at the barn. Um, I do a lot of tack cleaning, and my tack clean, I like it to stay as, as clean as possible because um, I'm a little crazy. So I went ahead and got that. Um, then Tuesday, I went to one of our local, well, two of our local tax stores. One of them, um, can I just say a big shout out, um, to the Hunting Horn, um, in Penfield, New York. Um, these bags are the absolute cutest things ever. Um, I'm going to be, I save, like, the Victoria's Secret bags to store stuff in, and this will be coming, joining my collection. Um, it's phenomenal. It's adorable. I love it. Um, I went there looking for a bit in a really weird size, very specific kind of bit. Um, they didn't have it, unfortunately. Um, don't need the bit now. That's another story for another day. Um, but I didn't get anything. We spent like half an hour there. And I felt bad. I hate going into tax stores and just wandering around and coming off as a looky-loo. So, by the checkout, they had these wind by a nose, um horse shaves. They're just little disposable razors that you can, you know, trim up your horse's muzzle and get all those whiskers off with. Um, you know, they're great for shows to have a couple in your tack trunk. Um, and I've heard they're great for horses that don't react well to regular electronic clippers. Um, it really surprises me. I've been looking at these for forever and I always mean to grab them and I kick myself in the butt um, for not having grabbed one um, when I leave. And I'm just so surprised I haven't used these before because I'm obsessive with grooming. Um, but yeah, I might do a video review of these things. Um, you know, we'll see. And I apologize now for all this bouncing and shaking of my camera. I'm trying to be as still as possible um, and just deal with my setup. Hopefully it'll be better next time. I might go down to the basement and try um, filming. We usually have some pretty good lighting down there, so we'll see. Um, these together cost me like six dollars. Um, so the horse shapes cost me like six dollars, and there was a seven dollar charge minimum um, at the store. So I went ahead and got um, just some, you know, 3M vet wrap. It was like three dollars. Um, you can never have enough of this stuff. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's just like it's what you, <clears throat> it's bandaging. Um, they make stuff like it for humans too, but it's not in fun colors. Um, and it's just like self-adhesive bandaging, um, wrap of wounds, you could do shipping boots with it, you can wrap tails with it for shipping, um, you can, it's kind of like duct tape in its uses, um, maybe I'll do a video on that one day, um, if I can come up with a big enough list. Um, so that was all I really got from the Haunting Horn, um, got the cute bag too, so excited. Um, let's see, what else do I have? List, list, what I have. Oh! Um, I also got this at Country Max. Um, it's a little bigger, so I decided to wait to show you guys. Um, it is a Centaur Breakaway Halter and Lead that came together. It was like $21.99. Um, it's fleece lined, it's all nylon. The silverware's a little, um, the hardware's a little cheap, but, you know, it should be fine. Um, Harley needs a halter of his own right now. Um, he's borrowing one from a horse that used to be at the barn, but Jamie really wants it to, she wants to clean it up and just kind of have it as like a memorial type piece. Um, so I just went ahead and got him this, um, cause it was decent for the price. Um, it's in my colors, plaid and tan and maybe. And, you know, it fits him, it fits him great already. Um, he's super handsome in it. Um, maybe over here. I will go ahead and get um, a video of him, a uh, picture of him up with it, so you can see what it's like. Um, you know, um, it is cheaper, um, not the highest quality, but it's breakaway, so he should be safe in it. Um, I'm going to save up for an actual leather leather halter for him, and possibly um, a baker halter with a leather crown piece. Um, 
we'll see. But this will be fine for now. Um, and that way Jamie can have her halter back. Like I said, it came with a matching lead, so that's a great deal. Um, next thing I got, I went from got at the other tax store in our area. Um, it's a little closer, so I prefer to go there. Um, and I normally just go there. Um, I, for the past five years, I want to say four or five years, um, not consecutively, unfortunately, um, I've been writing exclusively dressage. Um, and I've never bought a dressage whip. Um, don't know why. Um, probably a combination of I live in Hunter Jumper Central, and our tax stores don't carry many dressage products. Um, so you might not have had a whip when I've gone before. And the barn I wrote at before, um, we had plenty, and I always just grab one from, you know, the general stockpile. Um, all of Jamie's are broken, though. Um, so I went ahead and just bought a cheapy $12 um, Equistar dressage whip. Just something I can school with. Um, I mean, I guess you could show with this, too. It is, you know, it's got some plasticky, I don't know, I think it's plasticky, um, plasticky metal-like pieces. So it looks nicer um, than it actually is, you know, in true Equistar fashion. Um, bottom of the line type thing, but they do their best. Um, I was actually hoping that she had a different Equistar dressage whip. Equistar used to make, um, you can still get it in a few places, a leopard print dressage whip, um, which I want really badly. Um, if you guys do go to my Pinterest account, which I said I will link below, um, there's a whole board there that's just leopard print equestrian products. Um, and it's on there, I believe. So, yeah, dressage whip. The last thing I got, I've been looking at for over a year, um, but because up until recently I've been riding exclusively dressage, um, I didn't get it. Um, this saddle pad does come in a dressage size, um, but didn't carry it <laughs> at my tax store, and I didn't want to custom order. I didn't want to custom order it. And it was just you know fifty dollars for the saddle pad. And, you know, I didn't need it. I told myself I didn't need it. I didn't need it. But I need it. Um, I am a self-proclaimed baker slut. I love baker plaid. I love baker plaid, navy, and white together. This is the Union Hill uh, Ledia collection. And now it is pronounced Ledia. If you go onto the Union Hill product website and you check out their reviews, um, their own employees call it Letia. It is not Letitia. Um, for the longest time, I was so confused over what it was. And there was, you know, this battle on YouTube um, in the equestrian community. Some people call it Letia, some people call it Letitia. And so, was like, so last night, I just went ahead and, you know, tried to find what it was actually called. And it is pronounced Letia. Um, so it looks Blackish, I don't know. Can you tell it's this navy? But this is um, the all-purpose navy saddle pad with um, white piping and then baker trim. Traditional baker trim, not their tartan, obviously. Um, it's got the Ledia Collection logo here and then the official baker logo down here. Um, off the bat, this saddle pad wasn't what I was hoping it was going to be for over $50. Um, it doesn't have what I think they're called billet straps. Um, don't quote me on it. Um, the little strappy things that normally go up here on a saddle pad. Um, it didn't have those, which I was a little disappointed in. Um, I do prefer using those over the girth straps down here. Um, I will use the girth straps, um, with this one just because, you know, I don't want my saddle pad to slide around or anything. Um, it's a little thinner than I was thinking it was going to be um, for the, the price. Um, the Dover um, Writers International quilted cotton pads um, are, us are they're a little thicker, I think. Um, but on the inside, it's really fleecy. Sorry, it's all hairy. I used it once already, um, and I brought it home to show you guys. But it's like really nice flocked fleecy on the inside. And then on the outside, it's um it's a smoother product. It's not like not like t-shirt material or anything, um, but it's super nice. Um, I'll probably do a review in maybe a month 
whoa, I got ghosty. Um, I'll probably do a review in a month or so. Um, once I can see if the thinness is going to be an issue, my first instinct to use a baby pad with it, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm probably going to go, I'm definitely going to go ahead and buy the matching polo wraps. Um, I'm all about matching and these polo wraps are absolutely gorgeous. I'm probably going to, if I do end up liking this saddle pad, I'm probably going to buy it in some of the other colors. I'll probably buy the white one though, um, in the dressage size. Hey, it's Chunky. Say hi to Chunky. What are you doing, Junk? This is my cat and she really likes this saddle pad too. As you can see, she is about to curl up and go to sleep on it. Um, I will yell at her profusely once, oh, there she goes, once I get off of here. Yep, she's just rolling in it, enjoying it. So, at least it's got Chunky's approval. So if it doesn't make a good saddle pad, it'll make a good cat bud. Um, so that's all for my haul video today. Um, if you guys like it, give me the thumbs up and leave some comments below. Also, if you have any questions for me um, about my riding experience, um, my education experience with horses, um, my horse in general, um, please leave comments below. Or if you have um, any critiques or comments about this video, please leave them. Um, you know, hate is welcome too, um, because that means you watched my video at least. Um, you know, go ahead and leave comments with requests, any comments, critiques, questions you may have. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link to my other social media accounts on here and go and check those out too if you've got the time. Thank you again. Um, hopefully I will see you guys in another week with another video. Bye.